What up everybody, this is Wolfthorn Gaming, and thanks again for joining me on another Call of Duty video. Today I'm going to be covering a best class setup on the Weevil SMG. Now this is a great weapon, you know, it's well-rounded, uh, versatile, and it's reminiscent of the P90 from other games, uh, other Call of Duty games rather. It has the same bullet capacity, you know, it's got 50 bullets in the clip, and that's awesome too, so you can run around like a beast. And I'm going to give you guys my best attachments, the perks, and everything you need to do well with this weapon. I had a lot of fun getting it gold. You know, it's it was actually one of the more fun ones to get. When I saw the gun stats and I saw that like the damage wasn't that high and um, you know, I was going and the fire rate was crazy. I was like, "Oh man, here we go. It's going to be super inaccurate and it's not going to kill people." But I was surprised. You know, it, it, take it into any game mode you want, whether it be hardcore, core, domination, team deathmatch, whatever. You'll be able to do work with this weapon either close up or at range and especially when you have the right attachments on there I saw that like you could literally just take people down with no problem but all the other stats aside I feel like the best thing about this weapon is like I mentioned before is the, the big clip you will not have to worry about reloading as much and you only see me doing so because I have the nasty habit of reloading my gun after one or two kills and you know I, it doesn't regardless of the weapon I choose and if that's a problem for you guys you know let me know in the comments below because I'm trying to get better at that yeah I know that sometimes you it takes a few bullets to chop people up and I don't want to get caught with my pants down and you know whatever so check it out on screen now this is my best class as far as attachments first and then we'll have the quick draw the grip the rapid fire and the long barrel so why these attachments versus something that you choose well let's go in depth on each of them and I'll explain why so first the quick draw so the quick draw grip is absolutely essential I mean I feel like in this game not because you know it's a crutch or what have you but in combo with the fast hands perk which allows you to aim down sights much faster after sprinting you'll definitely be able to get that kill much faster you know you'll be able to ADS quick you see somebody you're rushing around let's say and you're about to get caught you just aim down sights and boom you got a perfect example of these critical seconds is about to happen on screen now. You see how that dude was about to murk me with the gravity spikes? Well, if I feel like if I didn't have the quick draw grip, I would have definitely lost that. I would have died. And instead, I picked up a nice triple kill. So this is why the quick draw grip in combo with the fast hands perk will make all the difference between you getting those kills and losing the gunfight. Moving on now, we have the regular grip. Now, this is self-explanatory. I feel like, you know, you have a high fire rate weapon. Accuracy is so-so. You want to make sure you're staying on target as much as possible. So, don't overlook this attachment. Trust me, it'll help you get in those headshots for the um, gold camo. And in general, it just keeps you accurate. You know, you don't want to worry about your gun flying all over the place. And trust me, it has a lot of vertical recoil without it. And even with it on, it does, I notice. So... Definitely, definitely keep that on there. Up next, guys, we have the Rapid Fire. Now, this is a great attachment for the Weevil. I know it already shoots fast, but you have mad bullets in the clip, so go crazy. You know, it, there's plenty of room to make mistakes. If you happen to run out of bullets for some odd reason before you die, pick up a gun off the floor and keep on slaying. It allows you to get more bullets out much faster. At close range, it's extremely beneficial, and far away, it'll definitely help you out as well. Moving on now, speaking of range, we have the long barrel attachment. I feel like this is another self-explanatory one. For SMGs, you know, you don't have as good of a range as like an assault rifle, let's say. And when you're going up against one of them, instead of getting melted, you know, a 5-6 to six shot kill from the Weevil will now be about maybe a 4-5, to five, a 3-4 to four if you get lucky. Um, I was having some trouble going against people with assault rifles, men, so... Definitely put this on there, and you can definitely have a better chance of staying alive against that, and you will be able to pick people off at ranges much easier. So now that we wrapped it up for the attachments, I want to go into a little bit of the perks. So now we're going to be for perk 1, we're going to use Ghost. Now why do you want Ghost? Well, this game has tons of UAV spam. I've mentioned this in plenty of my other videos, and instead of, you know, stopping to run around like a beast, to aim at the sky to shoot down 500 million UAVs a match. Unless you happen to be going for gold launchers, then by all means go crazy. Just run the ghost perk so that you can move around the map, stay off the radar. Also, you'll be off radar when you're using a streak, which is also great because, trust me, with this gun, 
and you'll be doing work you're gonna have plenty of streaks to use and uh, you know you'll definitely not have to worry about it as much moving on we have perk 2 and that is the green and that will be fast hands now I mentioned this before but fast hands in combo with quick draw grip it's a, it gives you a better aim down sights time after you're sprinting now granted you're not running any secondaries on this class it will mean the difference between you getting the kill and losing the gunfight if you're a rusher now if you don't like rushing around if you prefer to be more conservative then I'll give you a suggestion and maybe hardwired recently got a buff so if you want to check that out go ahead or scavenger so you can get some of your bullets back but I doubt you'll be needing any of those so just run fast hands and profit off that okay and for the third and final perk gung-ho you know this is essential for running and gunning being a beast to rush around the map and now that it works without any glitchy animations or anything like that as prior in advanced warfare i would definitely recommend this or engineer would be my second choice because you can see equipment and trip mines and all that and stuff of that nature all right guys that about wraps it up for me here today thank you so much for sticking with me through this video if you want to learn more about the gold camel challenges for the assault rifles and smgs Check out the links in the description below for the Vesper and HBK30 class setups that I did. I went a little bit more in depth on the challenges and showed you everything that you need to unlock them. So have a good Saturday. Take care, y'all. And peace.